More heated debate tonight about two separate wind farm projects planned for Seneca County. The first could begin construction early next year, and there could be additional projects down the road. NBC 24's Jay Hanna joins us live in the newsroom with more. Jay, hundreds of people are upset about this. Jamie, more than 500 people gathered in Tiffin with the Seneca Anti-Wind Union to discuss their thoughts on the Seneca and Republic wind farms. The decision ultimately comes down to the Ohio Power Siting Board in Columbus, but none of their representatives were at tonight's meeting. The Camden Falls Conference Center was standing room only on Tuesday night as several hundred people gathered to say no to wind turbines. I would not be kidding if I said we were up into the thousands now. The Seneca Anti-Wind Union brought in State Representative Bill Reinecke and Seneca County Commissioner Mike Kirshner to speak at their event. The group's biggest concerns include dropping property values and rights and environmental concerns like the killing of birds. We need to represent ourselves up here, not have outside influences come in and dictate to us. Currently, two proposed wind farms are going through the process of coming to Seneca and Sandusky counties. The S Power Seneca Wind Project would have up to 85 wind turbines standing around 650 foot tall. To compare, the Davis Bessey nuclear plant is around 500 feet high. The Apex Republic Wind Project, which is currently suspended while it adjusts some aspects to the proposal, would bring around 58 turbines with heights between 442 and 591 feet. Apex also has three other wind projects proposed for the Seneca, Huron, and Erie County area. I think if things would have been more transparent and the whole community would have been involved. I mean, even with the leaseholders, the farmers, they had no details about how many turbines were going to be on their place, how many access roads, and where these roads were going to be on to the turbines. You know, all those details, they had, they had no idea either until the plans came out earlier this year. Greg Smith also spoke at the event. He's a member of the Anti-Win Union. With the current plans, he would have 19 turbines within a mile and a half of his house. You know, take those big turbines and now put them in Seneca County where we just have too dense a population. It's just not a good fit in Seneca County. Several townships in the area, including Adams and Scipio, have voted to intervene in the wind farm process. This means they have the right to voice their opinion to the Ohio Ohio Power Siding Board in Columbus. Live in the newsroom, Jay Hanna, NBC 24 News.